Leave the keys. You still do that thing? Leave the keys. For our biggest discounts on 30% recycled and ultra premium laser. Okay. Okay. Okay, your phone. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Let me talk to you about a few of the other things we can offer. Namely, we know the tax season's coming up, so by April 1st, we can have you fully stocked. One. We have discount prices on ink cartridges. Three. And also, any forms that you're gonna need, seven. you can custom make them. Well, I appreciate what you guys are saying, but it uh, makes more fiscal sense to go with one of the big guys. Sure. That's true. We can't compete with their prices. But let me ask you something. How important to you is customer service? Very. Please keep holding. Your call is very important to us. Mm. It's one of the big guys. Been on hold this whole time. And this is Dunder Mifflin. Dunder Mifflin Customer Service. This is Kelly. Hey, Kelly. It's Jim. Oh, my God, Jim. How are you? I wanted to tell you. Here's my card. It's got my cell number, my pager number, my home number, and my other pager number. I never take vacations, I never get sick, and I don't celebrate any major holidays. <laughs> All right, I get it. We got a deal. <clears throat> All right. The salesmen have a commission cap, but we figured out a way around it. Lloyd Gross is a fictional salesman we invented to, how do I put this, steal from the company, embezzle, to commit fraud. Okay, it sounds sketchy, but it helps us get more money. Yes. Pam made a drawing of Lloyd. He is a blend of all the salesmen. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you. I never let anyone walk behind me. Seven out of ten attacks are from the rear. Okay, well, that still leaves a 30% chance that I'll attack you from the front. Uh, yeah, but it'll be easier to stop. I can always block the blow, or I can counter it with... Stone & Son Suit Warehouse recently lost their paper provider. They're a family-owned business. <laughs> Jim and I used to clean up at those. We'd go in pretending to be family. Brothers. We did it at a family-owned law firm, at a family-owned construction company, and a family-owned motorcycle store. Jim and Dwight Schrupert. I was the dynamic, likable winner that was doted upon by mom. <laughs> Jim was the closeted foot fetishist pretending to belong. And the client never knew any of that. But I knew. I hope you've been paying your wig storage bills, Jimbo, because it's time for another episode of Handsome and Stinky Paper Brothers for Hire. Sorry, Stinky, can't do it. Too busy. Oh, God, this again? You're stinky. Seriously? You're gonna set me back? Uh, yeah. That's the safest part of a car. In the event of a crash, the driver always protects his side first. Jim, you know it would be really dastardly if we snuck out of here and got to the client first. <laughs> He's running! Damn it! Damn it. What? What is this supposed to be? It's a monkey. Jim, get real. This is not a monkey. It's got a hula skirt and a blue nose. Hold on, hold on. Is this him? What? Is that him? It's him. Do something. Get out. What? Go. What am I going to do? I don't... Go slash his tires. Go dead his hood. That's it? Oh, that's great. That's like a five-second delay. Dwight, go! Does this thing have turbo? Nitrous? Hit the Nas. Nas? You mean like in Fast and Furious? Yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely have Nas. Hit the Nas. Are you sure? Yes. Brace yourself. Three, we got two, it. Go. one. Here we go! Ready? Go, 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 go.
The seismic failsafe. We'll be stuck between floors for hours. Oh. My pants fell down. What? My pants fell down! I don't have a belt! Hello, sir. Good day. Dwight K. Schrute, Dunder Mifflin Scranton. Forgive my pants, they fell down. An appointment with Mr. Ramish, please. Right now is fine. No, 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 I was here first. Dwight K. Schrute, Dunder Mifflin Scranton. Uh, what's going on? Mr. Well, Ramish, Harry Janarone, Dunder Mifflin Syracuse. I was here oh, first. Oh, oh, Sorry about oh, this. Okay. I already oh, made an appointment okay. with let me, your secretary. Let me stop you all right here. I've already picked a new paper supplier. Wait, it's not DM Utica, is it? No, no, it, it's not Dunder Mifflin at all, actually. It's Big Red Paper Company. Big Red Paper Company? Mm-hmm. Wait, hit, hit us! Here's what's going to happen. I am going to have to fix you, manage you to on a more personal scale, a, a more micro form of management. Jim, what is that called? micro -gymment. Boom, yes. Now Jim is going to be the client. Dwight, you're going to have to sell to him without being aggressive, hostile, or difficult. Let's go. All right, fine. <clears throat> bring, bring. Hello? Hello, this is Dwight Schrute from the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. Wow, that's great, because I need paper. Excellent, then you are in luck, because we are having a limited time offer only on everything. Wow, this is my lucky day. Ask him his name. What is your name, sir? I am Bill Butlicker. Really, that's your real name? How dare you? My family built this country, by the way. Be respectful, Dwight, please. Uh, yes, Michael. Could you hold on one second? That's my other line. What? No, but I... Hello? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just on the phone with this stupid salesman. He's so dumb. Probably just gonna keep him on the line forever and not buy anything. <laughs> okay. It's up to you to change his mind. Sorry, that was a family emergency. Oh no, what's wrong? You know what? That's private. Boundaries, Dwight, come I'm on. I'm sorry, Mr. Butler. As I was saying, so we're I'm having a limited... Speak up a little bit louder, I'm hard of hearing. He's hard if he's an old man. Okay, as I was saying, right now yeah, we are having... Yeah, talk louder. Okay. Our prices have never been lower. Son, you have Sir, to talk louder. Never been lower. Louder, I, son! Butlicker! Our prices have never been lower! Stop it! Stop it! He... That is totally inappropriate. You never yell at the client. You now never you listen yell at the to client. me, sir. Here we go. The three words I would describe you as is aggressive, yes. hostile, and definitely difficult. Give me Please, the phone. Mr. Butlicker. I'm irate right give now. Give me the phone. Please give me He's another irate. chance. Give me the phone. Mr. Butlicker. Give me the phone. I have to put you on with my boss. Well, I should hope so. Who is this? Hello, this is Michael Scott, regional manager. Well, this is William M. Butlicker. Hello, Mr. Butlicker. How may we help you? Michael, I like the sound of your voice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy $1 million worth of paper products today. <laughs> See how it's done? Thank you very much, sir. I don't think you'll regret it. You, know what I did? you are the master. There is one condition, Michael. Yes. You have to fire the salesman that treated me so terribly. Don't do it, Michael. Me a cup of coffee. Me too. Or do you also have a monopoly on thirst? All right, guys. It didn't work out for any of us, so we're still on the same team. Let me get these. No. Let him get his own. He's got Syracuse money. You know, your partner's got a lot of attitude. But I like that. How long have you guys been dating? Jim couldn't land me in a thousand years. You're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Shut up.